What's up guys? Welcome to Bitten Off Flesh Reptiles. Today I want to show you how I treat for a uh, respiratory infection. Now if this doesn't work, I go to antibiotics, but I'm going to suggest if this does not work for you, for you to go to a vet. Alright, so what you're going to need for this F10 method, and I also I found this on Brian Barchek's channel, and it's, it's not hard to find, but it's kind of hard to find, and a lot of people ask me, you know, what do you do when you have when you find a snake that has an RI and how do you tell? I'll go over that on how to look for a respiratory infection in another video. This video I just simply want to show you guys how I treat for it, how you guys can, and nine times out of ten it helps. If you catch it soon enough, this right here saves you a lot of money and it helps your snake, saves your snake's life. So it's it's pretty awesome. And uh Again, I, I do this because I breed. So with having so many snakes, I wouldn't be able to afford to take, you know, a snake. Not that I wouldn't be able to afford to take a snake to the vet, but to be able to take a bunch of snakes if something were to happen, it'd just be way too expensive in the long run. Now this right here, I haven't had to deal with too many respiratory infections, but, you know, I'm not going to lie, I've had a couple catch them. And I've also bought snakes that had them, and I had to treat them for it. So, all right, what you're going to need for this is a tub. No holes. Besides in the lid, what you're going to do is you're going to cut a hole in the lid so that way your fogger hose can fit in here. Along with the tub, you're going to need the fogger, obviously. And then this is personal preference. You don't have to. I like to just because, you know, keeps your snake more comfortable while they're getting their treatment. <laughs> a heat mat. On top of a heat mat, paper towels. Why paper towels? That way they could be a bit more comfy. Pull one out, put it in the bottom of this tub right here. That way snake's a bit more comfy. All right, and then with what you're gonna put in your fogger to help clear up the RI and it helps them breathe easier and stuff like that is you're gonna take a liter of water, okay? And then you're gonna take three milliliters of F10. You're gonna dilute that three milliliters of F10 in this liter of water. After you do that, you're going to fill up your fogger with this diluted F10. All right. So I'm going to plug everything in. Um, I don't have a snake to show you guys an example. I don't want to throw one in here. I actually could just put one in here. It's not going to harm it any by doing it. All right. So I got my hose in my tub. I'm going to take my heat mat. I'm going to place it under my tub. I'm going to plug that into a thermostat so I don't burn my snake. And uh, this whole treatment takes around 40 minutes to maybe 50 because, you know, 10 minutes for the setup and then we'll go on from there. So then after we have water and everything set up, heat mats on, you're going to turn your fogger on. When you're going to turn your fogger on, full blast. You want your fogger on, you want to leave your fogger on full blast with your snake in the tub for 20 straight minutes. A full 20 minutes fogger on full blast. Now after that 20 minutes is up, you can turn your fogger off and you want to leave them in there for another 20 minutes. Now after that 20 minutes is up, you're going to want to take your snake out, wipe it down and put it back in its tub or its cage or whatever you may have it in. Now, this is a super, 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 super helpful and awesome thing, especially for people that, uh, you know, ended up going to an expo and coming home with a snake and it ended up being sick and they didn't know. And, uh, you know, cases like that comes very, very helpful. So I hope this video helps you guys and I hope I explained it clear enough to where you know it's as simple sounds as simple as it really is now you can get a fogger you know for 60 70 bucks you can get one online and you know you can get tubs at walmart three to five bucks paper towels a dollar f10 you can get online too for like 20 bucks 23 bucks and uh but yeah i hope this guy help i hope this video helps you guys in some way or helps somebody someday Again, this is a lifesaver for me. It's helped me many times. And I'm really happy to share it with you guys. And again, I found it on Brian Barchek's channel. So, till next time, 
Much love, guys. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed it. Hope everybody learns from this. I hope somebody can share this knowledge with somebody else if they're asked about, if they know a way to go about it. All right, guys. Much love.